Hey guys, wanted to uh, get a quick video up of my latest pickup. Uh, these are the Jordan 11 Lowe's, bread colorway, uh, black and red. Came out this past weekend, just got them in the mail from Nike.com. The remastered white, 23 paper. Now, I was actually able to get these through the sneakers app. Um, the sneakers app kind of changed a little bit, as you guys might know. Um, for the longest time, it was kind of invitation only. There was a wait list. I guess they're still doing some beta testing, making sure that it worked the way it was supposed to and they could handle the traffic and demand. Um, historically, been able to cop pretty much whatever I wanted. Um, I think I only missed out on one pair of shoes that I wanted at out of about a dozen, maybe 14 different pairs, and um, would usually be checked out within about a minute, sometimes as soon as 30 seconds, on something that would sell out, you know, by 10, 10, 30 on a Saturday. Um, this Saturday was very different. Um, had the shoes in my cart, ready to check out um, on, the, on the app, and for those of you who use the app, um, what it does now is it says, you're basically pending, keep the app open, we'll let you know when you cop, basically. And um, was in the car. You know, put them in my cart right at 10 o'clock. Drove for an hour. Um, got where I needed to go uh, by 11 o'clock. And it was still clocking. Still waiting to be uh, to be checked out. Um, eventually, about 10 minutes later, so talking well over an hour, close to an hour and 10 minutes, said the shoes were out of stock. Um, went on the mobile website, saw that they were still in stock. So I tried to check out a couple more times. Um, ended up finally copying the shoes via the sneakers app at about 1 p.m. on Saturday, so about three hours later. Uh, multiple attempts. Um, hopefully they'll figure out whatever it is they need to figure out and um, you know get, get it straight. I and mean, it's hard with demand. Um, basically anyone with an iOS device can download the, the sneakers app at this point. Um, and that's you know desktop, laptop, um, phone, iPad, whatever. Uh, so, you know, hopefully it'll get smoothed out. Um, hopefully I can keep copping the shoes that I want to cop. Uh, the OG um, Retro Ones come out this weekend. Got the pair that came out a couple years ago uh, with the Jordan logo on the tag. I'd really like to get these pair as well. So I'll let you guys know what happens with that. But battled on long enough. Let's take a, take a look at the shoes. I said before when I looked at the Georgetowns um, that the 11 Lows are actually one of my least favorite colorways. Um, it just overall really not a fan. I think it's the patent, um, but I'll take a look at the shoe and kind of show you guys what I see. Um, first thing you'll notice on these, and this is kind of your legit check, when you get a pair of these in your hand, um, obviously this is red rubber. It's not plastic. It's not at all milky or cloudy. It's very clear and red. Um, you can see all the way down to the, the graphite. And, um, that never really gets done quite right, as well as uh, the Jumpman logo on the bottom. So if you get a pair of these in your hand, take a look at that. Also, take a look at this back tab. You'll see the 23 right there. That's never done quite right. This logo is often done incorrectly as well. And I, I really think, you know, my opinion is, if this wasn't patent, I would really like these shoes. Um, the, uh, the patent for me is a little bit off-putting. Um, overall, I like the silhouette of the shoe. I like the cut. I like everything about it. Um, I know when these came out previously, when you get a toe crease in these shoes, uh, this patent really starts to break up. So, you know, these will be the fire shoe along with the OGs um, that are coming out next weekend. Everyone's going to be wearing these, um, you know, with their camo shorts. <laughs> and, um, you know, you're going to see them out a lot. Jordan on the tongue, and then the inside, just the uh, the jump man as well. So, I mean, if this is your thing, keep an eye out. Um, there's still five days left, four days left in May. Um, keep in mind, Nike's fiscal year actually ends May 31st. Uh, so keep an eye out for drops. Um, there have been some restocks that have come up in the last few days. I know they're still dropping LeBron polymers. Um, they just redropped again today. Um, 
gold foams dropped on foot action. So keep an eye out over the next couple days. You may some, see some things that are worth picking up. Um, as for these, probably going to be passing them on to somebody else. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a look at the shoe from front to back and um, you know, see if, uh, see if this is something that's a little bit more your cup of tea than mine. Um, I'll put a, a link below for the sneakers app if you don't have it yet. Um, at this point, you might as well get it. Everybody else has. Um, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, also, feel free to subscribe so you can check out all my other videos as well. Um, I will be uh, posting another video in a few days. I'll let you know, let you guys know my uh, trials and tribulations as picking up the uh, the OGs this weekend, and uh, we'll go from there. Have a great night. Talk to you guys soon.